Have you ever wondered about the life of Gautama Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, and the timeless lessons he left for humanity? Imagine a world where peace and understanding reign supreme. Today, we embark on a journey through the life of one of history's most influential figures, Gautama Buddha, to uncover the profound wisdom he shared with the world. What if I told you that the key to unlocking true happiness lies not in material possessions, but in the depths of our own minds? Join us as we explore the life of a man who renounced his royal comforts in search of something greater. Picture a young prince, born into luxury, who abandoned his palace to seek the truth of existence. Now, imagine yourself in his shoes. Would you have the courage to leave behind everything you've ever known in pursuit of enlightenment? This is the story of a journey from worldly desires to spiritual awakening, a journey that continues to inspire millions around the globe. But why should we care about the life of someone who lived over 2,500 years ago? What relevance does it hold for us today? Consider this. Amidst the chaos of the modern world, with its constant noise and distractions, the teachings of Gautama Buddha offer a beacon of hope and guidance. In a society obsessed with consumption and achievement, his message of simplicity and inner peace resonates now more than ever. So, let's dive into the life of Gautama Buddha, not just as a historical figure, but as a timeless source of wisdom and inspiration. Before we proceed, let's set a challenge for ourselves to reach 100 likes on this video. Why? Because we believe in the power of spreading positivity and knowledge. By hitting that like button, you're not just supporting our channel. You're contributing to a collective effort to share valuable insights with the world. So, buckle up and prepare to embark on a journey that promises to enlighten, inspire, and transform. Together, let's uncover the ancient secrets of Gautama Buddha's life and learn how they can illuminate our path towards a more fulfilling existence. Are you ready? Let's begin. Lesson 1 Birth and Early Life of Gautama Buddha In the ancient kingdom of Kapilavastu, nestled amidst the verdant landscapes of present-day Nepal, a child was born to King Sudhadana and Queen Maya. This child was none other than Siddhartha Gautama, who would later become known as Gautama Buddha, the Enlightened One. Siddhartha's birth was no ordinary event. It was said that Queen Maya dreamt of a white elephant entering her womb before his birth, a symbol of purity and greatness. This dream foretold the extraordinary destiny that awaited her son. As Siddhartha grew, his parents shielded him from the harsh realities of the world. They surrounded him with luxury and comfort within the palace walls, hoping to protect him from the suffering and hardships outside. Despite his privileged upbringing, Siddhartha was not immune to curiosity about the world beyond the palace gates. One day, he ventured outside the palace grounds, accompanied by his charioteer Channa. What he witnessed would change the course of his life forever. Outside the palace, Siddhartha encountered the realities of human existence. Old age, sickness, and death. These stark realities shook him to the core, igniting a deep sense of introspection and a burning desire to understand the nature of suffering. Determined to find answers to life's profound questions, Siddhartha made a momentous decision. He renounced his princely status and set out on a quest for truth and enlightenment. Leaving behind his family, wealth, and worldly comforts, he embarked on a spiritual journey into the unknown. For six years, Siddhartha wandered the forests and plains of ancient India, seeking guidance from revered spiritual teachers and subjecting himself to rigorous ascetic practices. Yet, despite his relentless efforts, he remained unfulfilled, his quest for enlightenment still unattained. One fateful day, as Siddhartha sat beneath the Bodhi tree in deep meditation, he experienced a profound awakening. In that moment of clarity, he penetrated the veils of ignorance and delusion, realizing the true nature of existence and attaining enlightenment. With his newfound understanding, 
Siddhartha Gautama emerged as Gautama Buddha, the Awakened One. He dedicated the rest of his life to teaching others the path to liberation from suffering and the attainment of inner peace. The birth and early life of Gautama Buddha serve as a powerful reminder that enlightenment is not reserved for the privileged few. It is a journey open to all who are willing to embark upon the path with courage, determination, and an open heart. Lesson 2. The Quest for Enlightenment Gautama Buddha, born Siddhartha Gautama, embarked on a profound journey in search of truth and enlightenment. His quest began with a deep realization that worldly pleasures and material possessions did not bring lasting happiness. Despite being born into luxury and privilege, Siddhartha felt a sense of discontentment with the superficial joys of palace life. Driven by an inner calling, Siddhartha left behind his opulent lifestyle, including his royal family, in pursuit of spiritual understanding. He wandered through forests and villages, seeking guidance from spiritual teachers and ascetics. However, none could provide him with the answers he sought. Siddhartha devoted himself to rigorous meditation and self-discipline, determined to unlock the secrets of existence. He practiced extreme forms of asceticism, fasting to the point of near starvation. Yet, despite his efforts, he remained unfulfilled, recognizing that extreme deprivation was not the path to enlightenment. One fateful day, Siddhartha resolved to meditate beneath a Bodhi tree, vowing not to rise until he had attained enlightenment. As he sat in deep contemplation, he faced inner turmoil and external distractions, battling with his own mind and the temptations of Mara, the embodiment of desire and illusion. Through unwavering determination and profound insight, Siddhartha transcended the illusions of the material world and attained enlightenment. In a moment of clarity, he understood the nature of suffering, its causes, and the path to liberation from it. Thus, Siddhartha became the Buddha, the Awakened One. The enlightenment of Gautama Buddha marked a pivotal moment in human history, offering profound wisdom and guidance for all beings. His teachings, known as the Dharma, illuminate the path to inner peace, compassion, and liberation from suffering. The story of Siddhartha's transformation into the Buddha serves as an inspiration for seekers of truth and enlightenment across the ages. It reminds us that true fulfillment comes not from external pursuits, but from the cultivation of wisdom, compassion, and inner peace. In essence, the quest for enlightenment undertaken by Gautama Buddha embodies the universal human longing for meaning, purpose, and transcendence. It teaches us that by overcoming our own ignorance and delusions, we can awaken to our innate potential and experience profound joy and liberation. Through his example, Gautama Buddha invites us to embark on our own inner journey of self-discovery and transformation. His teachings offer timeless guidance on how to live a life of wisdom, compassion, and spiritual awakening. The story of Siddhartha's enlightenment under the Bodhi tree continues to resonate with people from all walks of life, inspiring countless individuals to seek truth and awakening within themselves. In the next part, we will delve deeper into the teachings of Gautama Buddha, exploring the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, which form the foundation of Buddhist philosophy and practice. Join us as we uncover the timeless wisdom of the Buddha's teachings and their relevance in today's world. Lesson 3. Enlightenment under the Bodhi Tree In a quiet grove near the town of Bodhgaya, Gautama Buddha, then known as Siddhartha, sat beneath the Bodhi tree, determined to find the answers he sought. Siddhartha had renounced his life of luxury and embarked on a spiritual journey, seeking liberation from suffering. As he sat in meditation, his mind delved deep into the nature of existence, grappling with the profound questions of life, death, and the human condition. With unwavering determination, Siddhartha resolved to stay seated until he attained enlightenment, no matter the obstacles he faced. The night passed, and as the first rays of dawn broke through the darkness, 
Siddhartha experienced a profound awakening. In that moment of clarity, he saw the interconnectedness of all things and understood the true nature of suffering and its causes. Siddhartha realized that attachment and desire were at the root of human suffering. He understood that the pursuit of material wealth and sensory pleasures only led to temporary happiness, which was always followed by dissatisfaction and craving. With this insight, he discovered the path to liberation, known as the Middle Way. Under the Bodhi tree, Siddhartha experienced a deep sense of peace and contentment, free from the burdens of desire and aversion. He saw the world with new eyes, filled with compassion and understanding for all beings. In that moment of enlightenment, Siddhartha became the Buddha, the Awakened One, and his teachings would forever transform the lives of countless beings. The Buddha's enlightenment was not just a personal awakening. It was a universal truth that transcended time and space. His realization of the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path became the foundation of Buddhism, offering a profound roadmap for those seeking liberation from suffering. The Bodhi tree, under which the Buddha attained enlightenment, became a symbol of wisdom and awakening. Pilgrims from all over the world visit Bodh Gaya to pay homage to this sacred site, seeking inspiration and guidance on their own spiritual journey. The story of the Buddha's enlightenment reminds us that liberation is possible for all beings, regardless of background or circumstances. It is a testament to the power of human potential and the transformative nature of wisdom and compassion. As we reflect on the Buddha's enlightenment under the Bodhi tree, we are reminded of the importance of perseverance, mindfulness, and introspection in our own lives. Like the Buddha, we too can awaken to the truth of our existence and find liberation from suffering. May the story of the Buddha's enlightenment inspire us to embark on our own journey of self-discovery and awakening, leading us to a life of peace, wisdom, and compassion. Lesson 4 Teaching and Spreading the Dharma After his enlightenment, Gautama Buddha began his journey to share his newfound wisdom with others. He felt compelled to spread the teachings of the Dharma, the path to liberation from suffering. With a heart full of compassion, he embarked on his mission, traveling far and wide across the Indian subcontinent. Buddha's teachings were simple yet profound, accessible to people from all walks of life. He spoke of the Four Noble Truths, the foundation of Buddhism. The first truth is the existence of suffering, which is an inherent part of human existence. The second truth is the cause of suffering, which Buddha identified as craving and attachment. According to Buddha, the third noble truth offers hope. There is an end to suffering. This cessation of suffering is attainable through the fourth noble truth, the Eightfold Path. This path consists of right understanding, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. One of the most famous teachings of Gautama Buddha is the parable of the arrow. In this story, Buddha illustrates the futility of dwelling on unanswerable questions about the nature of existence. Instead, he encourages his followers to focus on understanding and alleviating suffering in the here and now. Buddha's teachings emphasize the importance of compassion, kindness, and mindfulness. He encouraged his followers to cultivate loving-kindness towards all beings and to treat others with empathy and understanding. As Buddha traveled and taught, he attracted a diverse following, including kings, merchants, farmers, and outcasts. His message resonated with people from all backgrounds, transcending social barriers and caste distinctions. Buddha's teaching methods were simple yet effective. He often used parables, stories, and metaphors to convey complex spiritual concepts in a way that everyone could understand. His teachings were not dogmatic but encouraged individuals to inquire and investigate for themselves. Buddha's compassionate approach to teaching inspired countless followers to lead lives of virtue and integrity. He emphasized the importance of right conduct and ethical behavior as essential aspects of the spiritual path. 
Despite facing opposition from traditional religious authorities and skeptics, Buddha remained steadfast in his commitment to spreading the Dharma. He believed that his teachings could bring about profound transformation and alleviate the suffering of humanity. Buddha's teachings continue to inspire millions of people around the world today. His timeless wisdom offers guidance on how to live a meaningful and fulfilling life, free from the shackles of greed, hatred, and delusion. Through his teachings and example, Gautama Buddha showed us the path to true happiness and inner peace. He demonstrated that enlightenment is not reserved for a select few but is accessible to anyone who is willing to embark on the journey of self-discovery and transformation. As we reflect on the life and teachings of Gautama Buddha, may we be inspired to follow in his footsteps and strive to cultivate compassion, wisdom, and mindfulness in our own lives. Lesson 5. The Four Noble Truths the teachings of Gautama Buddha revolve around the Four Noble Truths, which form the foundation of Buddhism. These truths are simple yet profound, offering insights into the nature of suffering and the path to liberation. The truth of suffering. Life is inherently marked by suffering, which encompasses physical pain, mental anguish, and the dissatisfaction that arises from impermanent experiences. From the moment we are born until we die, we encounter various forms of suffering, whether it be illness, loss, or the inability to satisfy our desires completely. The truth of the cause of suffering, Buddha identified the cause of suffering as craving or attachment. Our relentless desire for pleasure, possessions, and recognition binds us to the cycle of suffering, as these attachments lead to dissatisfaction and clinging. By craving for what we do not have or seeking to hold on to what we cherish, we perpetuate our own suffering. The truth of the cessation of suffering. Despite the inevitability of suffering, Buddha proclaimed that it is possible to attain liberation from it. By eliminating craving and attachment, we can free ourselves from suffering and experience lasting peace and contentment. This cessation of suffering is known as nirvana, a state of profound tranquility and liberation from the cycle of birth and death. The truth of the path to the cessation of suffering. To achieve liberation, Buddha prescribed the Eightfold Path, which serves as a guide to living a wholesome and fulfilling life. This path consists of right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. By cultivating these qualities and practicing them in our daily lives, we can gradually overcome suffering and attain enlightenment. The Four Noble Truths encapsulate the essence of Buddha's teachings, offering a clear diagnosis of the human condition and a practical roadmap to transcend suffering. They emphasize the importance of self-awareness, mindfulness, and ethical conduct in the pursuit of inner peace and spiritual awakening. Understanding and embracing these truths can lead to profound transformations in our lives, guiding us towards greater happiness, wisdom, and compassion. As we apply the teachings of the Four Noble Truths, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and liberation, freeing ourselves from the grip of suffering and realizing our fullest potential as human beings. Lesson 6. The Eightfold Path the Eightfold Path is like a map guiding us through life's journey, offering a path to happiness, peace, and enlightenment. It consists of eight interconnected principles that Gautama Buddha taught his followers to cultivate and practice. Each aspect of the path is essential, like pieces of a puzzle fitting together to create a harmonious and fulfilling life. Right Understanding it begins with gaining a clear understanding of the fundamental truths of life, such as the Four Noble Truths and the Law of Karma. This understanding helps us see reality as it is and guides our actions towards wisdom. Right Intention With a pure and compassionate heart, we develop intentions free from greed, hatred, and delusion. Our intentions shape our thoughts, words, and actions, leading us towards wholesome and beneficial outcomes. Right speech. Words hold immense power, 
capable of both healing and harming. Right speech involves speaking truthfully, kindly, and constructively, avoiding gossip, slander, and harsh language. Right action. Our actions have consequences, shaping our karma and influencing our path. Right action involves acting ethically, refraining from harming living beings, stealing, or engaging in immoral conduct. Right livelihood. Our work and how we sustain ourselves should align with our values and contribute positively to the world. Right livelihood means engaging in occupations that do not cause harm to others and support the well-being of society. Right effort. Progress on the spiritual path requires diligent effort and perseverance. Right effort involves cultivating wholesome qualities, overcoming unwholesome tendencies, and maintaining a balanced and steady practice. Right mindfulness. Mindfulness is the key to staying present and aware in every moment. Right mindfulness involves cultivating a clear and focused awareness of our body, feelings, mind, and phenomena without attachment or aversion. Right concentration. Through focused attention and mental discipline, we develop deep states of concentration and insight. Right concentration leads to the stilling of the mind, allowing us to penetrate the nature of reality and experience profound states of peace and liberation. By following the Eightfold Path, we embark on a transformative journey towards inner freedom and awakening. It offers practical guidance for living a meaningful and fulfilling life, rooted in wisdom, compassion, and mindfulness. As we walk this path, we discover the profound truth that happiness and peace are not distant goals, but are present within us, waiting to be uncovered through mindful living and spiritual practice. Lesson 7. Compassion and Nonviolence Compassion and nonviolence lie at the heart of Gautama Buddha's teachings, radiating their profound significance through every aspect of his life. Imagine a world where kindness reigns supreme, where every action is rooted in empathy and every word is spoken with love. This is the vision that Buddha painted with his teachings, urging humanity to embrace compassion as the guiding principle of existence. In its simplest form, compassion is the ability to feel the suffering of others as if it were our own. It is the empathetic response that drives us to alleviate the pain of fellow beings, regardless of their background or beliefs. Buddha emphasized the cultivation of compassion not only towards friends and loved ones, but also towards strangers and even adversaries. Nonviolence, or ahimsa, is another cornerstone of Buddha's philosophy. It entails refraining from causing harm to any living being, whether through physical, verbal, or mental means. Ahimsa extends beyond mere abstention from violence. It encompasses the promotion of peace and harmony in every interaction. Buddha's commitment to nonviolence was unwavering, even in the face of adversity. He advocated for the resolution of conflicts through dialogue and understanding, rather than resorting to aggression or retaliation. His teachings inspire us to embrace nonviolence as a way of life, fostering harmony within ourselves and with the world around us. At the core of compassion and nonviolence is the recognition of the interconnectedness of all beings. Buddha taught that we are not isolated entities, but rather integral parts of a vast web of existence. When we harm others, we ultimately harm ourselves, for we are bound together in the intricate tapestry of life. Practicing compassion and nonviolence requires mindfulness and intentionality in our thoughts, words, and actions. It entails cultivating empathy towards all sentient beings, regardless of species or status. By nurturing these qualities within ourselves, we contribute to the creation of a more compassionate and peaceful world. One of the most famous examples of Buddha's compassion is his encounter with Angulimala, a notorious bandit who had killed countless people. Instead of condemning Angulimala, Buddha approached him with understanding and compassion ultimately transforming him into a devoted disciple. Buddha's teachings on compassion and nonviolence continue to resonate across the ages, 
inspiring individuals and movements dedicated to peace and social justice. His message serves as a timeless reminder of the power of love to overcome hatred and the transformative potential of compassion to heal the world's wounds. In the words of Buddha himself, hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. This is the eternal rule. These words encapsulate the essence of his teachings, urging us to transcend the cycle of violence and embrace the path of compassion and nonviolence. As we reflect on Buddha's teachings, let us strive to embody compassion and nonviolence in our daily lives, extending kindness and understanding to all beings. In doing so, we honor the legacy of Gautama Buddha and contribute to the realization of his vision of a world guided by love and harmony. Lesson 8 The Middle Way Gautama Buddha, the Enlightened One, taught a profound concept known as the Middle Way. This teaching emphasizes balance and moderation in all aspects of life. Imagine a tightrope walker gracefully navigating between extremes, neither leaning too far to the left nor too far to the right, finding stability in the middle. The middle way encourages us to avoid the extremes of indulgence and asceticism. Indulgence, characterized by excessive desire and attachment, leads to dissatisfaction and suffering. On the other hand, asceticism, marked by extreme self-denial and deprivation, also leads to suffering and is not sustainable in the long term. Buddha's middle way suggests finding a harmonious balance between these extremes. It teaches us to enjoy life's pleasures in moderation without becoming enslaved by them. Likewise, it advises against harsh austerity practices that harm the body and mind. In our modern world filled with distractions and temptations, the middle way offers a timeless wisdom. It invites us to cultivate mindfulness and awareness in our daily lives, making conscious choices that promote well-being and contentment. Applying the middle way means recognizing our desires and attachments without being controlled by them. It involves practicing self-discipline and restraint while still appreciating life's joys and beauty. For example, imagine savoring a delicious meal without overindulging in unhealthy foods. It's about finding the balance between nourishing the body and enjoying the taste sensations without excess. In relationships, the middle way encourages us to love and care for others without becoming dependent or possessive. It fosters healthy boundaries and mutual respect, fostering deeper connections based on understanding and compassion. Moreover, the middle way extends beyond individual well-being to encompass societal harmony and justice. It calls for moderation in wealth and power, advocating for equitable distribution and social responsibility. By following the middle way, we navigate life's complexities with grace and wisdom. We embrace the richness of human experience while avoiding the pitfalls of excess and deprivation. In essence, the middle way is a path of balance and harmony, leading to inner peace and enlightenment. It teaches us to tread lightly on this earth, leaving behind a legacy of compassion and understanding. As we walk this path, let us remember the words of Gautama Buddha, neither too much nor too little, but just enough. May we find our balance and fulfillment in the middle way, illuminating the journey towards liberation and awakening. Lesson 9 Impermanence and Interconnectedness Have you ever stopped to notice how everything around us is constantly changing? From the shifting seasons to the fleeting moments of joy and sorrow in our lives, impermanence is an undeniable truth. Gautama Buddha, with his profound wisdom, taught us to embrace this impermanence rather than resist it. He likened life to a flowing river, where nothing remains stagnant or unchanged. Just as a river never stops flowing, life too is in a constant state of flux. Understanding impermanence is not about dwelling on loss or fearing change. Instead, it's about recognizing the beauty and opportunity in every moment. Imagine a flower blooming in the morning sun, its petals unfolding in perfect harmony with nature's rhythm. But as the day progresses, the flower begins to wilt, 
eventually returning to the earth. This cycle of birth, growth, decay, and rebirth is a reflection of life's impermanence. Yet, within this impermanence lies a profound interconnectedness. Every living being, every atom in the universe, is intricately linked in a vast web of existence. Just as the river's currents are connected to its source and its destination, so too are we connected to each other and to the world around us. When we truly grasp this interconnectedness, compassion naturally arises within us. We realize that the joy and suffering of others are intimately tied to our own. It's like dropping a pebble into a pond and watching the ripples spread outwards, touching everything in their path. Our actions, thoughts, and words have a ripple effect that extends far beyond our immediate surroundings. This awareness invites us to live with greater mindfulness and kindness towards ourselves and others. Through the practice of meditation and reflection, we can deepen our understanding of impermanence and interconnectedness. And in doing so, we can cultivate a sense of peace and harmony that transcends the fleeting nature of existence. Lesson 10 Nirvana and Liberation Nirvana is the ultimate goal of Buddhism, a state of complete liberation from suffering and the cycle of birth and death. Imagine a serene pond where the water is calm and clear, reflecting the beauty of the surrounding landscape. In much the same way, Nirvana is a state of profound peace and tranquility, where the mind is free from all cravings and attachments. It's like finding the perfect balance, where there is no more striving or yearning, just a deep sense of contentment. Nirvana is not a place or a destination. It's a state of mind that can be attained right here and now. Through meditation and mindfulness, one can gradually dissolve the barriers that separate them from Nirvana. It's a journey inward, exploring the depths of one's consciousness and discovering the true nature of reality. Liberation, or moksha, is the culmination of this journey, the moment when the shackles of ignorance are finally broken. It's like waking up from a long and troubled dream, realizing that the world is not as it seems. Liberation is not reserved for the chosen few. It's open to anyone who is willing to walk the path with sincerity and dedication. It's about letting go of all that weighs you down, embracing the present moment with open arms. Liberation is not about escaping from life. It's about fully embracing it with all its joys and sorrows. It's about seeing the world with fresh eyes, free from the distortions of ego and desire. In the words of Gautama Buddha, he who has let go of hatred and bitterness finds peace of mind. Liberation is not about renouncing the world. It's about transforming your relationship to it. It's about living in harmony with the rhythms of nature, recognizing that everything is interconnected. Liberation is not about attaining some higher state of consciousness. It's about realizing the inherent divinity within yourself. It's about recognizing that you are already whole and complete, just as you are. Liberation is not about seeking happiness outside yourself. It's about uncovering the source of true happiness within. In the end, liberation is about coming home to yourself, discovering the boundless freedom that lies at the very core of your being. Legacy of Gautama Buddha Gautama Buddha's legacy is vast spanning centuries and continents, touching the lives of millions across the globe. His teachings continue to inspire and guide people in their pursuit of peace, wisdom, and enlightenment. Through his profound insights into the nature of existence, he left behind a timeless wisdom that resonates with people from all walks of life. The most fundamental aspect of Gautama Buddha's legacy lies in his teachings, known as the Dharma. These teachings revolve around the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, offering a path to liberation from suffering. One of the key teachings of Buddha is the concept of impermanence, reminding us that everything in life is subject to change. This understanding encourages us to embrace the present moment and let go of attachments to transient things. 
Another vital aspect of Buddha's legacy is his emphasis on compassion and nonviolence. He taught that true happiness comes from caring for others and living in harmony with all beings. Gautama Buddha also advocated for the middle way, a balanced approach to life that avoids extremes and fosters moderation in all things. His teachings on mindfulness and meditation have had a profound impact on countless individuals, helping them cultivate inner peace and awareness. Buddha's legacy extends beyond his teachings to the establishment of a monastic order, known as the Sangha, which continues to preserve and propagate his teachings to this day. The spread of Buddhism across Asia and eventually to other parts of the world is a testament to the enduring relevance of Buddha's message. Throughout history, Buddhist art, literature, and philosophy have flourished, reflecting the profound influence of Buddha's teachings on human culture. In modern times, Buddhism has continued to evolve and adapt to new cultural contexts, demonstrating its resilience and universality. The principles of mindfulness, compassion, and inner peace espoused by Buddha have found resonance in fields such as psychology, neuroscience, and wellness, contributing to their integration into mainstream discourse. The celebration of Vesak, the day commemorating Buddha's birth, enlightenment, and death, serves as a reminder of his enduring impact on humanity. In addition to his teachings, Gautama Buddha's life story serves as an inspiration for countless individuals, showcasing the transformative power of spiritual awakening and personal growth. The story of Siddhartha's journey from a sheltered prince to an enlightened being resonates with people seeking meaning and purpose in their own lives. Buddha's teachings on the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of cultivating loving-kindness have inspired movements for social justice and environmental stewardship. The practice of offering alms to monks and engaging in acts of generosity continues to be a central aspect of Buddhist culture fostering a sense of community and mutual support. Buddhist temples and monasteries serve as centers of spiritual practice and cultural heritage, preserving the rich tradition of Buddhism for future generations. The timeless wisdom of Gautama Buddha transcends cultural and religious boundaries, offering solace and guidance to people of diverse backgrounds and beliefs. In an increasingly interconnected world, the teachings of Buddha remind us of our shared humanity and the importance of compassion and understanding. As we reflect on the legacy of Gautama Buddha, we are reminded of the profound impact that one individual can have on the world through their wisdom, compassion, and dedication to the well-being of others. In embracing the teachings of Buddha, we honor his legacy and continue the journey towards a more compassionate, enlightened world.